What's happening, crypto fam? Happy, happy Wednesday. Good morning and welcome back to Love for Crypto. I'm Scott. It's a pleasure to have you here. I appreciate you taking the time out to consume the content. So thank you. Almost halfway through winter ish. It's getting cold. <sighs> but summer's coming. Oh, yeah. What else is coming is an Intel low voltage Bitcoin mining chip. A CPU that mines, yeah, you heard that, a CPU that mines Bitcoin. Freeing up the pressure on the GPUs, graphics cards and gaming community because it's taking the mickey. How expensive shit's getting. <laughs> so we're going to have a gander at what it is. Intel to present a low voltage, energy efficient Bitcoin mining chip at a conference 15 hours ago um, by Eduardo Prosper. Better. Thanks, June, for sending it over. I appreciate it. This fascinates. I hate the fact of how much people are having to spend on graphics cards and that now just to do a decent bit of gaming or watch a decent film on the PC simply because of Bitcoin mining. It's ridiculous. So let's have a gander at what this is. Like, this could be huge. Intel plans to enter the Bitcoin mining space with a cleverly marketed, ultra-low-volted, energy-efficient ASIC chip, considering that the chip shortage severely delayed the next generation of miners. This is tremendous. <clears throat> and more importantly, it opens up the door for Bitcoin manuf miners manufacturing in the USA. Bitcoin miners manufacturing in the USA. And the rest of the Western world. Interesting. In December, Raja Kodura hinted that Intel's intention to get into Bitcoin mining space, even though he is he's the chief architect and senior vice president of Intel's architecture, graphics and software division. No one expected Intel to deliver so soon. Interesting. Intel jumping into the Bitcoin mining. Manufacturing is huge. Uh, we need way more chip fab in the USA. It will result in improved national security, supply chain robustness. It will also result in less reliance on Taiwan, who is being threatened by China aggression. So, what, 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 what America? That's what, that's <laughs> you know. Take it from an American perspective. It's like you, you know what, right? Instead of thinking about to lower the energy costs and make the energy like get some free energy to mine Bitcoin, we're gonna we're gonna start making ridiculously low energy chips that do nothing but mine Bitcoin. One percent one allow it look. But again it could be huge, it could be massive. Let's let's read on. Details are scarce. There's nothing on Intel's official site. A quick search reveals that access to additional uh, search results for Bonanza is restricted. However, we have the 411 on the projects that goes by the code name Bonanza Mine. So what do we know about Intel's Bonanza Mine? The product will be ultra low energy. An ultra low energy efficient Bitcoin mining rig. According to Tom's Hardware, the page that broke the news, Intel will reveal their chip at the ISSCC conference. It's a yearly gathering of the best and brightest minds in the chip industry. This year, Intel has a presentation scheduled in the highlighted chip releases category to outline a new Bonanza mine. And it's a processor, a new chip described as an ultra low voltage energy efficient Bitcoin mining ASI SIP. Fascinating. Apparently, Intel has been developing the product since at least 2018 when they registered a patent for specialized processing system that uses an optimized SHA256 data path. According to Tom's hardware, Intel has a wealth of experience in hardware-assisted SH bullshit algorithms due to the use of these instructions in CPU products. This is huge. More competition in the hardware mining sector is welcome. Intel to unveil Bitcoin mining bonanza mine chip at upcoming conference. A more recent indication 
of the company's intentions came when the already mentioned Intel executive Raja Kodure appeared on popular stream of Dr. Lupo's shop. He told him point blank, <clears throat> being able to do much more efficient blockchain validation at much lower cost, much lower power, is a pretty solvable problem. And you know, we're working on that. And at, the, and at some point in time, hopefully not too far into the future, we will kind of share some interesting hardware for that. <laughs> lower cost, much lower power. And again, I've, I've said it before, the amount of power we use doesn't fucking matter. Where the power comes from matters millionfold more. It just does. Millionfold more. Yeah? The amount of power we use, it, it doesn't matter if we use a terabot, a gigawatt, a fucking wigawatt, a pigawatt, a fucking shut your fucking mouth or what? What? It doesn't matter what we use. It matters where it comes from, mate. Yeah? How we generate it. Electricity is free in certain parts of the world when you set up certain infrastructure a dam for instance that is stored solar energy stored solar energy something that we can't even really fucking do on our own is done for us by the fucking planet stored solar energy it evaporates the water the water lifts up it turns into clouds it moves over land it goes over high ground it turns back into water droplets and falls as rain. It fills a dam. It's fucking solar power, mate. I don't care. I sugar coat it how you want. It's fucking solar. Call it turbine. Call it hydro. Call it fucking tidal fucking... What's tidal power? What's t is tidal power? Tidal power. Ocean power. Or is it the fucking moon? Moon power. <laughs> it's all solar. It's all solar, mate. Except for literally tidal. Tidal is solar... And lunar, it's lo lunar power, mate. We've got lo there's lunar power on the planet, and we could take some of that energy. It's not just solar. But why is the development important? Well, the buy, you understand, the graphics cards, you can hardly fucking get one. They've gone up in price. It's ridiculous. And we need them for gaming and entertainment and shit. It's needed to change. So until now, Bitcoin miners' manufacturing is controlled by Bitmain and Micro... Can and strong you and EBAN handling the majority of the market? Uh, a minority, sorry. All of those companies are Chinese. The chips are all made in Taiwan and South Korea. This poses a centralization problem for the Bitcoin network that seemed unsolvable until Intel's soft announcement. Now the open source miner. Now, now the open source Bitcoin miner that Jack Dorsey's block is working on makes a lot more sense theoretically the silicon chip is the only part of a machine that can't be bought in a hardware store with that problem solved by no less than an industry lead with immense manufacturing power the sky's the limit if this whole thing materializes it expects a huge leap forward in the further decentralization of bitcoin mining this fucking cock got to say pomp. Intel. A 220 billion industry leader is preparing to launch hardware for Bitcoin mining. Bitcoin is a computer network. Every technology company will eventually plug themselves into it. The capitalist pomp. What the fucking hell do you expect, mate? They, they want a piece of your pie, bro. They want a piece of your pie. Also, Intel's announcement certainly legit legitimizes Bitcoin mining as a business to watch for the next hundred years. As podcaster Anthony Pomp said, Bitcoin is... A I've just read the tweet. Fuck you. Fuck you. You don't need to put the fucking quote when you've put the fucking tweet. Jesus fucking Christ. I'm sick of repeating myself when I go through articles, mate. And, but it gets on me tits, man. Boils me piss. Fuck that paragraph now, it can fuck off. <clears throat> for now, it isn't clear if Intel will release the Bonanza Mind chip as a product for the public 
or if it remains confined to a research project. However, given that the chip is in the highlighted chip releases digital ML track and Kudoda's comments, it's logical to expect that these chips will be offered to customers in the near future. Everyone's going to plug in a fucking Bitcoin. Is everyone, do, do, do people say Bitcoin's good for payments and moving value? Because it's fucking not, mate. <laughs> it's not. It fascinates me, man. And it's not even decentralized. Like they're saying, that it's centralized to death. They try to make it decentralized. It's, it's, it's owned by China, mate. You left the central banks for fucking Chinese banking. <laughs> Chinese crypto banking, mate. Bitcoin. Anyway, let's move on. Because meanwhile, the 10 richest men in the world actually doubled the wealth. This is fucking ridiculous. Uh, I'm going to let you have a read through this because it just knocks me fucking sick, the numbers. I don't give a fuck how many taxes they paid. It wasn't enough. It wasn't enough. Fuck them. Fuck fucking them. They fucking doubled the money, man. You know what I'm like? While well, there's loads of people dying and starving and struggling like fuck, all their money. Absolute fucking joke. It's worth keeping an eye on that Intel shit because you don't know how much they're gonna be. They could actually be released to the public and be quite affordable. It's had me thinking. It's had me thinking. So if 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 uh, if uh, if um, what else can can the chip do? And how much is the chip? Because if I've got to spend 500 quid to two grand on a decent graphics card to play the brand new AAA games and future big world open world games, or I've got to buy the same graphics card to, to mine Bitcoin, that's what's hurting the graphics cards. If this new chip is a similar price, is, is, is a similar price, is, if it's the same as the graphics card, the same price as the graphics card, but it won't do graphics, it will only do calculations and computations, it's got no, there's, there's, there's no H, HMI fucking, there's no fucking outputs, there's no, there's no display port output on it or anything like that, there's no video fucking out, there's no graphics out to handle, the only reason to buy that chip would be to mine Bitcoin. If it's more expensive than the graphics cards, they're not going to... Why would you buy it? You just... Overall cost coming down. So this chip could be twice as much as a graphics card, but over the next three years... Not only will you be pulling in Bitcoin because you're mining, you're going to save on the energy cost that the graphics card would have cost you. Not only on the on the cooling system, you'd have to get to probably fucking cool down a big fucking rig. And how many graphics cards can this chip replace? Is it just one chip per one card? Because some rigs have like fucking one motherboard with one CPU running fucking seven graphics cards on the fucker. <laughs> It's interesting, it's fascinating, and I'm super, super intrigued as to what's happening with that. It is about time. People know before, if it was up to me, mining would be in space. It wouldn't even be plugged into the fucking wall, mate. It just wouldn't. Why would you plug it into the wall? You'll be power cuts and shit. And don't, don't start with lens flares, like solar flares, because half the miners will be on the other side of the fucking world to the protected. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> but yeah, big cops. Why just just throw this chip with a little few solar cells in that little transmitter to ping the transactions back down to Earth and fucking throw them into space in orbit? Just Starlink the motherfucker. Starlink the Bitcoin network. I've got an inner solar array in my store, in my game, my my game world, my meta. I'm just gonna call it a metaverse. My metaverse. I've got, I'm going to have an inner solar array that's decentralized and the outer solar array beyond um, beyond the asteroid belt isn't, it's more privatized, more centralized. 
get Bitcoin mining in space, and then you'll then it, then it's cheap as fuck. If you spend more on a chip, you spend more on a chip than a graphics card because the chip saves you money in the long run on electric. Then why not spend money on putting the chip on a fucking rocket and using no electric to run it? Like you're you're paying for no electric to run it. The minute the rocket lets it go, boom, it turns on solar power, baby. Woo! Why not? Why the fuck not? And not even just for Bitcoin mining, for every for, for every fucking blockchain. Get the nodes in space. Free power up there, man. Free power. For what? Forever. Forever. In in in, in human time scales. Time scale. Time scale. And human time scale, right? It's forever, mate. You fucky rat. <laughs> it's it, it's forever. Because for the next five billion years, that to humans is fucking forever, mate. We can get any free energy out, mate. Um, yeah, we're not even talking about it anymore. There's free energy in space. Put the miners in space. Job fucking done. And to the ten richest men in the world, go fuck yourself. I hope you choke when you tea tonight. Pay more tax, dickhead. On that note, guys. Invest in yourself, invest in the internet of value. If you ever end up with 200 billion, please just give 150 billion of it away because you don't fucking need it. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of your week. We love crypto. We love the idea of a Bitcoin mining chip that frees up the graphics card, that lowers costs, it's more energy efficient. Yeah, bring it on. But send it to space. Why not? Yeah, why not? Interoperability, uh, ILP. Let's get it happening. I'm going to go and build my metaverse. I'll build my space scene. Might go live again today. A little bit later. No promises though. So stay tuned. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.